In this video, I'm going to review some of the settings on your Chromebook. And to get started, I'm going to go down to the lower right hand corner of my device. And I'm going to click in the area where I see the time, my Wi Fi status, and my battery. And this will give me access to a few quick settings. Up at the top, I'm able to sign out of my Chromebook. So I could sign out, allow somebody else to sign in, or use my Chromebook with a different account. I can also see the wireless that I'm connected to. Right now I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi, but if I'd like to connect to a different Wi-Fi network, I can click this little triangle to the right and select a different available network. If I don't see the network that I'd like to connect to, I can also add one manually by clicking this icon and entering the information myself. You also have access to Bluetooth, where you can add Bluetooth devices such as mice, keyboards, or even a cell phone. And you can see here that I have the option to also cast my screen, so I can wirelessly share my entire desktop from my Chromebook to another device that has the ability to receive a cast. I can adjust the volume up or down for my Chromebook speakers. And a new feature that they've recently added in Chrome 69 is the night light feature. When I click this, this will change the color of my screen based on the time of day. So as it gets darker outside, my screen will adjust to make it easier to read on my eyes. I can also lock my Chromebook when I step away from it, and I can power it off. Let's take a look at the full settings menu. And to get there, I'm gonna click the gear. There are three particular areas of importance within the main settings menu. I'm going to click the hamburger in the top left corner to access these different sections. We're going to start with people. Here's where I can see who has an account attached to this particular Chromebook. And in this case, it's my work account. And you'll notice that I'm syncing everything. The beauty of this is that when I sync my bookmarks, my apps, extensions, and history, I can sign into any other Chrome device or Chrome browser and instantly have access to all of my content. You can either leave this toggled to sync everything, or I can turn that off and select individually what I would like to sync to other Chrome browsers and other Chrome devices. The next section we're going to take a look at is Appearance. Underneath Appearance, I'm able to change the wallpaper on my Chromebook. I can also add a theme which changes the look and feel of the Chrome browser on my Chromebook. And finally, I can decide what happens when I click on the Home button. The last section we're going to take a look at is Device. And these are all your traditional or typical settings for a computer. I can adjust my touchpad. For example, I have enable tap to click so I don't have to click the trackpad. It'll actually activate just by tapping on it. I can adjust my display. So if I'm connected to a projector or an external monitor, I can select the option to mirror my display. And I can also look at storage management to see how much space I have left on my Chromebook. So those are just a few of the different settings that are available on your Chromebook. Again, to access these, I'll come down here to the system tray where I see my time, Wi-Fi status, and battery. I can open that up and look at my quick settings or click the gear to jump into the full settings menu.